I created a proper epitrochoid this time for the rotor housing, which makes the engine much more efficient than my previous design, which had a much simpler shape. The air from the intake makes its way across into this port, where it is then sent to the bottom of the housing to drive the bottom half of the engine, and then sent out the exhaust. Okay, so this time I removed two of these screws in the flywheel, so uh, let's see how this works too. So I'm a red happy this time. This time there's no screws in the flywheel, so let's see how it works. The engine actually doesn't have a lot of torque, if you see. It doesn't take a lot to stop the revs. The files for this new design will be linked in the description below. It requires four 6 by 3 quarter inch screws and two 16 by 5 millimeter bearings with an inner bearing race of 8 millimeters. That's all for today. If you're interested, check out some of my other projects or subscribe to see future ones.